Hey, hey, it's Free, and welcome to this video blog episode of The Soul Growth. This is the Sex Education Series. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today's topic is going to be about conversations on sex. Conversations on sex. Intimacy is a very major part of relationship, not just sex. Of course, sex is a big part of intimacy, but intimacy in general is a very big part of a relationship. However, many times we don't actually have the conversations where it's like, hey, what do you like? What don't you like? Um... Where do you want to be? What does this mean to you? What does that mean to you? How does this feel? We don't actually discuss these things, but they're actually really important in having a much more gratifying, well-rounded, individual, customized, that's what I'm looking for, customized sexual experience with your significant other. Because what worked for the last five people may not work for this person. What worked for the last two people will not likely work for this person. So it's always important to understand what your significant other is needing what they like and what they're looking for before I talk about anything else I want to impress upon you the importance of this sex is not proof of love sex is not proof of attractiveness it doesn't mean that if you have sex it makes you more attractive or less attractive sex does not cure problems and I cannot express that enough sex doesn't fix relationships and if you have a broken relationship already, why would you want to further complicate that? If you rec- if you recognize that that person has some things that you don't want or like, why would you continue to be intimate with them? Because you are merging with them. You are taking on them. And the last thing is that sex is not guarantee that a person will stay with you regardless of how good it is. These are many, many misconceptions that people have. And I really want to knock those out first and foremost. So... It is always good to discuss the beliefs and ideals of sex with your significant other. Key thing, contraception. What are your thoughts and ideas on this? How do you feel about it? Maybe somebody wants to use protection and someone doesn't, but what does that mean to you? Do you really understand what comes with it when you're actually not using condoms and things of that nature, how much more deeper it is in in connecting? Is this something that your significant other understands? Testing. Very important. Awkward conversation for most. Testing. When was the last time you were tested? How about we go get tested together? Even if we get tested, does that mean that we're going to continue or we're going to start using contraception? Or are you on birth control? Are we on birth control, should I say? Like, what happens? What are your thoughts about abortion? And and, and if something were to happen with us, if we had a mess up or a slip up, excuse me, um, what, what are your goals and your expectations? If for some people having sex means that we're taking things to another level, much higher level, that means that I really care about you, you care about me, or we're in love, or whatever. People have their beliefs, but some people feel like sex is just sex and it means nothing. If I feel like me having sex with a a man means that he must love me and he feels like, no, I'm just going to use her as a conquest and I don't want anything from her. All of that can kind of come to light and people, trust me, are rarely ever that direct. But that doesn't mean that you can't read between the lines sometimes when you're having these types of discussions or actually giving it time. Because what if you choose to be intimate with somebody because you can't read between the lines and they're saying, you know, we're all good. And then within two weeks there, they ghost you like it happens usually more to females than men, but it happens all the way around. So this is why it's important. Is this sexual experience for self grat for instant gratification, quick, should I say, gratification? Or is it something that I'm looking for connection? Because most times people don't recognize that what they're actually looking for is a certain level of connection with someone. They relate that level of connection to sex because, I mean, it's one of the deepest ways and forms to become connected with someone. However, that does not mean that... Um, and, and excuse me so people tend to go in a, a direction of just having sex because there's that deep feeling and yearning for they could feel it in them that they want to have that connection and they relate it to sex but they don't understand how to use sex to make a deeper connection with someone so that's the importance of building a relationship with someone talking to someone knowing where they are and and having a whole full experience on what you're both on the same page so then then we discuss boundaries and, and what it is that we're looking for if you're already in a relationship you can say, hey, what does it look like to you to have, you know, what is your ideal, even if you're not in a relationship, what is your ideal concept of a sexual experience and a connection? How do, how do I fit into that box? 
Um, what kind of, how often would you say you want to have sex? How, what is your libido like? What is my libido like? Um, what does, you know, do you like anything like BDSM or anything of that nature? Like there's such a variety of questions that need to be asked even if you're already intimate with someone and if you aren't on similar vibrations and patterns like if your libido is up here and my libido is all the way down here basement level then maybe we should kind of reevaluate on how far we should go should we build upon this or how can we work together to make this better but communication is important in a relationship period hands down because it's not like we should always we should check in every few months or something like that or at least biannually um, to make sure, hey, where do I stand? Are we good? Are, are you having any issues? Like these are things that seem so simple, but we just don't do them. Um, but if you aren't equally yoked with that person, if you guys aren't on the same web, <laughs> how who's on the same web page? Aren't on the same page? Like if you think very differently, is there a heaven or a hell? Are you are you are you good or bad? Or what do you believe in? Do, like, do you eat meat? Do I want that? Is that what I want in my life? Do you smoke? Do you do drugs? Do you do this? And I don't have anything against any of that stuff. You know, do you prefer, you know, anal? Do you, do you like, there's a variety of things that need to actually be discussed and never assumed. And we go back a little bit to that consent video that I made a few weeks ago. But at the end of the day, the point is communication is everything. Sex is very important, but it shouldn't be the foundation of a relationship. Now, it can make or break a relationship, but it, your foundation can't be that. Because what happens if that person's having a bad day or a bad period of time or starts having medical issues? Does that mean that you're just going to go out and cheat on them because you have a really high libido and they were barely keeping up before? This is why it's so important. So, I think I've pretty much covered everything that I had and I wanted to talk about. I thank you so much for your time again. Um... Don't forget, if you have questions, comments, concerns, whatever, put them down below. Oh, and I am going to put a wonderful list of questions that you can ask that I got from a website. I'll also link the website um, so that you can see like, man, it was some very interesting questions on this list. So definitely check that out to see things that you may not even thought of asking. But the point of it all is communication is everything. Having the conversations about sex to understand what your significant other is, is so important because you guys need to be on the same page. And so you can't get there if you don't know what that person wants or needs. Thank you so much for your time. Peace, love, and light. Bye.